Bolt action. Battle report. Key positions. The peace and quiet of the rural countryside was disturbed by a German mechanised platoon en route to locate a number of key positions identified by headquarters. This platoon consisted of a motorcycle and sidecar followed by a whirlwind and two Hanamags, each embarked with veteran Fallschirmiger units. After passing the farmhouse and pulling into an adjacent field, the platoon prepared to secure the identified positions, only to be alerted by their spotter to the presence of advancing US airborne troops. Quickly, the Fallschirmiger took up positions in the farmhouse in the ruined outbuilding as their mortar team hastily set up, ready to provide covering fire. To the surprise of the German second lieutenant, the US platoon also had mechanised units of their own in the form of a Stuart tank and two jeeps, one armed with a heavy machine gun. As snipers from both sides exchanged opening shots, the Werberwind fired at one of the advancing US units with its deadly Flak 38 guns. Seeing the carnage the self-propelled anti-aircraft gun was doing to the US airborne troops, the Stuart light -like tank engaged the Werberwind, only to make a hasty retreat as the sheer volume of 38mm shells pummeled the reconnaissance tank. Meanwhile, Close quarter battles were taking place in the farmhouse buildings, with submachine guns of the Fallschirmiger decimating the US units, but in hand-to-hand -hand combat, the stubborn US overwhelmed the German units, taking control of one of the key positions in the form of a burnt-out Hanemag in the courtyard. On the left flank, the advancing US airborne troops tried to take the second burnt-out Hanamag next to the ruined building, with deadly fire support from the jeep armed with a heavy machine gun. However, the Fallschirmiger units rallied and contested this key position with support from one of the Hanamags. The right flank saw the Werberwind and the Stuart exchange fire, which is almost its downfall as the second Hanamag disembarked a Panzerschreck team next to the pillbox but it only managed to stun the crew and disable the turret. As the motorcycle and sidecar headed down the road, they were ambushed by the second lieutenant and his aide, who went on via jeep to contest the fourth key position of the pillbox. It would have been an overwhelming victory for the US airborne troops, who also held the bunker with their machine gun team, but a lucky shot from the German mortar team removed them from the battle. The US airborne still retained the upper hand in this encounter, as, although the pillbox and a burnt out Hanamag next to the ruined outbuilding continued to be contested, the US unit in the courtyard of the farmhouse has secured this key position and victory. <laughs>